Okay, welcome back to TFO TV and thank you for joining the average golfer, but I'm not alone this morning. We're going to start the very first team average testing, club testing that is. We're going to start this whole thing off with the i500 from Ping and I'm going to get a variety of players, different age group, different handicap categories and I want to feed back their opinion. So this is not my opinion. If you want to see my opinion on the i500 then by all means go and check out in the back catalogue. This is all about average golfers out there having their say, testing a golf club and giving some direct feedback as to how they thought it performed. So like I said, i500 but first of all let's meet the team average today. And I would imagine all going to form their own opinion once we've got hitting some golf balls. And that's exactly what we're going to start doing. We're going to be on GC2, we're going to be in TP5 golf balls. I'm going to say no more. We're going to get straight over to John Tinkler. We're going to get hit, him hitting some golf balls. And then we'll see what he's got to say about the I-500. Behind the ball it looks nice, um, the, there's no sheen on the face of it, uh, the white line on the bottom is easy to line up. The toe looks a little bit high, similar to a high toe wedge uh, in comparison with my own which is an AP3. Um, the feel was not as great as I expected, it doesn't feel like a Mizuno feels. Um, when a Mizuno says forged it feels like butter. This didn't feel quite the same. It didn't, to, to my feeling, it didn't feel as nice as the title list. Uh, but I think it's horses for courses really. I'm, I'm, some will like it better and others won't. As far as, uh, as a club goes, I mean, I, I, thought, I felt it went higher. Uh, the, the numbers don't support that, but it felt as if it was a very high flying club. Um, there didn't seem to be an awful lot of difference in the terms of uh, feel between a bad shot and a good shot. They all seem to uh, go a, a decent distance. Um, I certainly wouldn't consider this to be a club that anybody should consider is for a, a brilliant player rather than just an average golfer. Um, it's a nice club, it looks nice, it feels nice, but in terms of the overall feel, I prefer the title list that I've, I've currently got I have to say. Okay so that's John's opinion now is on to Walter Wynn Stanley. Uh, Walter plays off a 10 handicap he's going to use a graphite shaft in this club so again very much different than the first set of numbers that we had uh, a different setup rather and uh, let's have a look and see what Walter thought of the i500. I think this is a really good looking iron, it's a stunning, it's a blade like look. It looks like something that might put a lot of people off to be quite honest with you, but when you actually play it, it really has, gives you the confidence really. I think anyone from 5 to 15 handicap would probably play this quite nicely. Well I played it now this morning with a graphite shaft, when I originally tried this club a while back, the steel shaft, I felt it was quite harsh, it's probably a hollow headed construction that Ping have gone in for recently without the foam fill that other manufacturers have done. So that must in, in theory be a little bit firmer, but with the graphite shaft, no I thought it was a lot different, I thought it was very pleasant to play and I, I would happily put this in the bag from that point of view. I think that the, the price bracket is fine because I think it's in line with a lot of other clubs from Ping and when you consider the looks, the blade-like looks, the, the attractiveness, the construction of it, I think people will feel that's excellent. They probably expect to have paid a bit more to be quite honest with you looking at it. I think the performance of this club is excellent. It certainly satisfied me. I thought the dispersion side by side and front to back, which is equally important in my view. Players want consistency of distance. They don't want something that's going to shoot out one minute and come back the next. You can tell instantly where you fit it on the club face and you still get a great result. And I think it's going to please a lot of people. I was very happy with it. Right. Interesting stuff there from Walter. We're now going to move on to Ben Barron. Ben is the lowest handicapper that we've got in the testing today. So once again, different setup, different shaft setup, different swing speeds, 
Let's hear what Ben had to say once he did the i500. I really love the satin finish. Yep. Compared to my other clubs, it just looks miles better. It felt really nice, even when I didn't quite catch it, it still felt good. And I like the way it sat behind the ball as well. Although it's quite a smaller face than the ones I've got now. But after getting used to that, it was really nice. Like the first few were a bit different, just because it's different to what I'm used to. But once I hit a few, it was really nice. Uh, for me personally, it's quite expensive, but that's because I'm 18 and I only work eight hours a week. However, if I was earning more, the price wouldn't bother me because it's such a nice club. It felt really good because the numbers compared to what I've got now are much better, much better. Okay, so it's next. It's on to a 16 handicapper. It is Dave Millard, and uh, Dave got stuck in straight into this in the i500. Here's his numbers, and here's what he had to say. nice um, nice clean sort of clinical lines and um, sits behind the ball really nice yeah felt good crisp clean strike and um, even some of the ones I didn't get clean and um, still seem to go I think sort of in the ballpark of where it, most other clubs are really and stuff better definitely better and um, it was a seven iron I probably hit it I'd say 10 yards further than I, I would with the clubs that I've got at the moment. Looks better, feels better. Um, I think it seems more consistent. Um, like I say, even on the bad shots, still perform well. Scuffed a couple and still made 140, 150-ish yards. Um, so definitely perform better. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm finding it really interesting to find out opinion, how opinion differs. Um, but also the similarities between opinions. I think it gives us this broader uh, sense of opinion from the i500 in this case and i'm really looking forward to doing more and more of this going forward but anyway last but not least we move on to luke cartwright and luke again will hit this golf ball he's a left-handed player so we're gonna have to switch cameras around a little bit for uh, luke but be interested to see here's his opinion Looks, yeah, they're, they're nice. Um, looks like a, a player's iron, really. Um, the blade, quite a nice medium to thin top line. Um, not a lot going on. A nice uh, line up line on the bottom, really. Um, helps frame the ball well. Feel, I wouldn't really say it felt like a forged club, uh, more of a casty feel. Um, so, going to the clubs that I play, I think my clubs are, feel a bit more softer. Um, so, yeah, I would say the forged is a bit of a cop out, really. I would say price wise, a, a little bit steep. I think you're paying more for the forged name than the club itself. Um, compared to what they're going up against, I think they are a little bit steep in price. Yeah, so looking at these as a whole, um, like I said, the feel isn't really great. However, the uh, off centre hits, they seem to uh, do pretty well. Um, pretty consistent with the clubs I'm using now. Um, so if I was thinking of changing, would I go to these? Probably not for the cost um, and stick with what I've got, really. Well, like I said, I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed getting the different opinion from the different levels of player, uh, different swing speeds, all in variables that are thrown in. For me, I think it gives a much more informative opinion than just obviously me throwing my two penneth into the ring. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. But the important thing is, did you and did you think it's a good format for me moving forward? Because I'd love to do more of these videos. I'd love to continue this. Uh, there was a great amount of interest in people who wanted to get involved in helping me out in doing this. And I'd love to get more people involved. But it's going to be really, it depends 
do you want to watch this type of video did you find it informative and i'd love to hear from you in the comments box below so please 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 give me some feedback because i want to do more of this thumbs up thumbs down whichever you want to go with uh, subscribe if you don't already very much appreciate the support of the channel and it's great to get people involved today thank you to the five people that got involved in the making of this video and like i said i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and i think they did as well so uh, like i said thanks for watching and uh, hopefully i will see you soon in another video where we get team average to do some club testing